Hi guys, I hope you are fine. Today I am again with you to share another awesome trick. It's about to get email notification when someone trying to log into your computer or server without your permission. Okay, let's see how we can get this alert. Let me go to my test machine. Yes, I have a test machine and it's running. Let's into this and open Bench Viewer. Yeah, this one. You need to go to security tab and you will find a lot of events it's about who is trying to get into your computer and which application is trying to uh, make authentication you just need to filter for the event id 4625 4625 are the events all about when someone trying to get into your computer and they don't have your password and then they are trying to make a guess or maybe they have some kind of old file of your password and trying to get into your computer and they are getting um, failed into their attempts you can get the email notification when this event id will be generated into your computer okay let's see how we can do that first you have to make a partial script let's go to notepad and write a script here is a script i'll share in video uh, description you just need to um, go to your browser and make a new account or maybe you already have a gmail account let me make a new one for this video for myself Muhammad Shafiq and let's make it like lab smtp dot not notifications it's not available all right let's make it like notifications smtp lab all right it's available let's make a password okay click to next and you have to mention somebody 01 1986 click on next accept license agreement and your account has been created no it's not available temporary let me know down the password okay let's try again account is ready now let's copy this one we have to mention this one in our script go to your script file paste it from and uh, this will be the account where you want to get your notification this could be your personal email account i'll make the same for this video and uh, username i'll make the same and then i have to mention the password of this account all right before using this this script because this account is new we have to make some changes here like go to setting and then go to see all settings and go to forward and pop up imap setting we have to enable imap and second thing i have to do go to your google manage your google account and we have to go down 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 on security tab probably 
yes here we have an option to uh, make a check for the less secure app accessible click on this one and turn that on this will allow the third party application to send the, uh, the send emails all right so here's our script let's save it as script format save as okay let me save it on desktop first let's name it as alerts all file and then i have, I have to mention its type ps1 okay now it's saved let's try to check if our script is working fine or not go to your partial partial and run that as administrator open your script it's placed on desktop select this one and try to run it all right it's successful now let's see if we get any kind of email notification go to your gmail account yeah you got this email bad password attempt someone trying to log into your computer if it's not you then you can take the action i have to correct this one you make anything you want like uh, here the subject I can change it be alert it may be hacker someone trying to log into your computer if if it's not you then you can take action all right let's save it now now our script is running successfully now we have to schedule it uh, we have to pin this one fit with our event ID we have to go back on this screen let me refresh okay right click right click and select attach task to this event bad make something like bad password attempt notification okay this will be triggered when even id 6425 will be generated okay in the previous days you may have the option to send this email directly or display a message on your screen but they have this option has been deprecated now you have this option to start a program and we will run a program like partial okay search for the partial and select this one here's a path C Windows system 32 and we have to mention our partial script open file location and I'll try to uh, place it on secure path secret location might be it's better to place it in C Windows system 32 and let's make a new folder called script I 
just want to place it on a secure location I have a make a new folder called script in my C Windows system 32 folder and I have to place it here to continue I have to copy this part because I need that copy and now I have to complete that one with this stuff copy again I'll share this command on video description as well go to your add argument option and paste this argument that I have just made it click on next okay and open the property dialog box when I click on finish now here's the important thing to note that this script will only run when you are already logged into your computer and you are sitting uh, beside your computer server but if you want to work when you are away then you have to select this option run this whether this computer whether this user is logged in or not you have to check this one and it's better practice to make a new user to run script because sometimes you change your uh, current user account password and if you will change the password of your uh, computer login account then script will stop run I'll go to my computer management and make a new user there users let's make a new user called notifications notifications make a secure password because we have to make it make it as admin so here I have created a service account I have to go its property and add administrators to give its privileges on this computer Handy. okay so the account is ready I'll run this through notifications press ok press ok and type the password that you have made for this account okay your script is ready now uh go to your task scheduler to make it sure the script is on place yes it is okay now let's try to make a bad attempt to log in this computer here this machine i'll duplicate this one and let me add it it's setting ask me password so I can manually type the password here try to connect okay let's say the account is this one and password is something random password and connect this will make a new entry here let me refresh you can see here's a new entry that someone is trying to get into your computer so let's see if we got email notification as well yes be alert it may be hacked let's make our script more meaningful and correct the typos be alert it may be it may be a hacker you can save this script on the same place and now it's working let's make another attempt note down the time on my screen it's 4 54 p.m. 
and I'm trying to get another attempt 455 some random user and password okay go back to your event IDs and refresh you have got another event ID on the same time and go to your emails and now you have the new email be alert it may be a hacker someone trying to log in into your computer if it's not that you please take action so uh, this was a simple way to get the notification when someone tried to get into your uh, laptop computer or you can use this script as well for your servers if you are um, trying to make them secure or make the notification if you want to get the notifications uh, when someone tried to get into your environment, then this tool may be very handy for you. Thank you very much guys. Have a good day. Bye.